right, good morning everyone. Um, so today I am in Smithers, BC, um, and I am, this is uh, uh, Hudson Bay Mountain behind me, and uh, that's one of the uh, falls, the Twin Falls that you can see right over my shoulder. And um, yeah, so uh, I'm in love. I'm in love with BC. I will definitely be back. Um, so my last video I talked about fear and I talked about that fear of the unknown and that fear of stepping out on your own especially after being in the forces for a while and um, this one's kind of on the heels of that and what I want to talk about is autonomy and um, you know I, I released in April uh, and I remember laying in bed one morning and um, you know just feeling that you know I, I woke up and I was laying there and just that realization that I'm, I'm not part of that organization anymore and life was changing uh, quick a lot very quickly and uh, I felt again I, I felt that depression starting I, I felt I felt bad things kind of coming about and I had a bit of an epiphany you know I, I sat there and thought how many times have I wanted to go do something anything at all and it's been subject to the approval of my chain of command or the Department of National Defense, the Canadian Armed Forces. How many times have I been told no? Um, and that's been for fundraisers, for different uh, different campaigns from you know multiple sclerosis. I, I did. I used to do the MS bike tour. Um, different places and times I wanted to take leave, and uh, you know, and all within the framework of the Department of National Defense, the Government of Canada. Uh, no, uh, you can't do that. That's not in line with our mandate. You can't do that. Uh, we don't, you know, whoever is your commander feels like it won't, you know, uh, reflect positively on the Canadian forces or the government of Canada. And, you know, to be fair, there were times I was told no, and it was probably very appropriate. Um, but you know what? I woke up that morning feeling sad, uh, feeling down, feeling depressed because you know, my life was changing and I wasn't part of that organization anymore. And I realized I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> and pardon my language, but that, that was it. I can do whatever I want. Um, you know, in this trip right here, there's no begging for time off and leave. There's no saying, oh, can I go do this? Am I allowed to say this? Am I allowed to do that? There's none of it. I can do whatever I want. And um, I'm going to tell you, that is an incredible feeling. Absolutely incredible. Um, I'm a free citizen, you know, uh, I can have my own political views, I can express them, I, I, you know, all these things that for so long I took for granted that I, I just wasn't a part of. So that is amazing. That is absolutely, absolutely amazing. And, um, you know, you lose the camaraderie, you lose the support. We talked about the logistics and the, uh, you know, the, all the other social supports and and material and logistics supports the Canadian Armed Forces offers for everything you do. And you lose that, and that's kind of sad. But at the same time, that tenacity, that determination, that fighting spirit, uh, the planning processes that I've learned and employed, um, the critical thinking, the risk assessment, all those things, I didn't turn those in when I turned in my uniform. You know what I mean? I still have them. And, and to exercise those with complete autonomy, and to exercise those absolutely with my own will, and on my own terms is amazing absolutely amazing and uh, you know again you know a big part of, uh, of my journey is about the transition and it's about learning to let go of certain things and it's about learning to adapt to what's going to be my new reality and I say going to be because right now I'm kind of existing out of time you know uh, reality starts I start back into, into uh, that structured life um, in September when I go to school and um, you know this next little bit it's about reaching out and continuing to serve my community and hopefully connecting with more veterans as I cross along uh, the southern particularly the southern corridor of Canada on my way back to Ontario but uh, it's also about me reflecting on 23 years of service what it means to me and letting go of certain things and and try to hold on and cherish the things that matter and um, yeah you know all those tools um, all that experience you know uh, like I said you turn in the uniform and the gear 
Uh, you turn in that affiliation to a point, but you don't turn those skills in, you don't turn those traits in, and I am looking forward to a lifetime of now using those traits and those skills that have been honed by 23 years of service and applying them to my will and doing things my way. And uh, that's a really exciting place to be in life. And, uh, you know, it's, uh, there's still mornings where I wake up and I miss it. And there's still mornings where I wake up. And again, we talked about, I talked about fear in that last video. And uh, those things still exist. And they're gonna exist for a while. You know, um, that's that's a huge life change, and it's going to take some time. But every now and again, I remind myself that uh, you know I decided to walk up here to Twin Falls this morning, and you know what? I didn't have to get anybody's permission. I don't have a timing. I don't have to rush. I'm on my own time. You know, I, I'm going to be in Quinell, BC um, tonight, and when I get to Quinell, I get to Quinell. You know, um, unless somebody de uh, sends me a direct message or you know, and, and wants to connect. Unless somebody does that, I'm on my own time. And uh, damn, that's a good feeling. I really like that. So uh, I'm gonna leave you guys with that. And um, I'm gonna take a few minutes to, uh, to absorb the sights around me, because this is amazing, this is beautiful. And uh, you know, I will be coming back here. You had better believe it. Every time I see a dirt road, I, I drive by it and I'm like, oh, I, I just wanna drive up there. I wanna see what's up there. And uh, I've definitely been feeling that through the Northwest Territories, the Yukon in here. Uh, every road, every mountain, I want to go. Uh, I want to go check it out. And I'm definitely going to make my way back out here. I can guarantee you that. All right. And uh, you know, again, to everybody who's uh, been part of the journey, thank you. Thank you to to Margaret and Cam for uh, for giving me a place to stay last night. Um, they sorted out their camper trailer for me. That's where I stayed. When I opened my door, I saw actually what's above this. So there's a glacier up at the top of, uh, of the mountain, just up beyond those trees. And that's what I woke up to this morning. I opened the door and the sun is shining on the peaks of this mountain and this glacier. And holy shit, um, I will be back. Um, but yeah, thanks, thanks Margaret, thanks Cam for giving me a spot to stay and give me some, some food last night. Um, thanks to everybody who's donated uh, to help get me here and to, to help you know, to get, help me continue on the rest of the way. Um, thank you to everybody who's commented, shared, liked, uh, all those things. Everybody who's helped promote the message, uh, trying to get veterans to, to, to open up and to talk. And, um, you know, I can't thank you guys enough. And uh, I cannot wait. Like, you know, I got another week in BC, essentially, you know, thereabouts, about another week and I'll be, uh, I'll be headed out to, to Calgary, and I'm looking forward to Calgary too. I'm looking forward to seeing some old friends there uh, that I haven't seen in a very long time. But uh, the rest of BC, I'm just, I'm itching for it. I can't wait to see it. All right, take care, guys.